You're here because you're working on an engine with an idle problem and you're looking for a diagnostic direction. Check the obvious things first. Things like vacuum hose routing. Check for vacuum leaks. Vacuum leaks is the number one cause for high idle. Go to vacuum leak testing and make sure that you do not have a vacuum leak. If vacuum leaks are the number one cause for high idle, carbon buildup in a throttle bore is the number one cause for low idle. Check for carbon buildup in the throttle bore. If it's there, you're going to have to clean that carbon out and make sure that you clean out the carbon in the intake manifold and the back of the intake valve. Just don't use some spray and clean the throttle bore. And then continue checking for the obvious. Things like plug wires that fell off or that are broken. After that, connect your scan tool and look at data stream. The IC count should be between 10 and 24 counts at idle. It goes higher as the engine speed increases. When the IEC counts are higher than normal with the throttle closed, the PCM is commanding the higher RPM. Check the engine load sensors and the temperature sensors to see if one is giving false information to the PCM. If you suspect that the IEC is sticking, go to IEC motor test. Look at the data on the screen. Our desired idle at the bottom is 1,000. At the top, it's 784. It's lower than the desired. Look at the IEC control counts. They're 87. You would think that with 87 counts, we could make the engine idle at 1,000 RPM. It indicates that the IEC is sticking. Go to IEC motor test. The PCM in this case wants higher idle speed based on its inputs. Desired idle, that's 1,000, and that's too fast. Engine speed, 998. It's almost there. The IEC is doing a good job. That means you're going to have to go back and look at the load and the temperature sensors to see which one is giving false information to the PCM and it's increasing idle. If you suspect any incorrect data, go to scan data testing. 